How about that? Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has earned more than $300 million in the three weeks since it was released. Probably a good indicator of the ongoing fascination people have with dinosaurs. And now there may even be more species to contemplate thanks to the work of some globetrotting scientists who made a remarkable find in Mongolia's Gobi Desert. The mission was backed by the Explorers Club, and here to tell us all about it is Explorers Club president and the host of the PBS series Born to Explore, Richard Weiss. Richard, good morning. Good morning to you. Give me the headlines first. What did we find? Well, you know, Mongolia, it's quality, quantity, and technology that's really going to usher in a golden era of paleontology. So if you thought you liked dinosaurs from watching the Jurassic Park thing, over the next few years, you're just going to see uh, troves of new discoveries. You have new discoveries already. What did, we, what did you find out there? Well, you know, they found, uh, in addition to 250 new dig sites, and that's a pretty significant number, they found three new species of dinosaur, hundreds of bones, and uh, this was in a relatively short period. You see guys out there in the uh, Gobi Desert, and uh, unlike the movie trailer, uh, sometimes it's painstaking work with uh, little sort of butter knives and uh, little brushes. Yeah, yeah, but it's exciting. But you also use some new technology to kind of get a handle on just where to dig yeah. and what to look at. To and, and to me, that's that the exciting part. So you're taking NASA technology, stuff you're able to image large areas of the Earth. And then they took uh, consumer drones, mm -hmm. they kitted it out with something fancy called a enhanced multispectral thermal imaging, and that's a fancy way of saying that you're seeing more colors and variations in the soil. They toggle through some filters right there. And this would have taken scientists, I mean, literally decades to go through that kind of area. Uh, the uh, expedition was supported by Infinity motor cars, and so they're able to drive around with these SUVs to areas. Uh, whereas Roy Chapman Andrews, who first went in that area almost 100 years ago, this was the real-life Indiana Jones, he would have, um, typically at that time, people took camels or horses. He was the first person to take motor cars. So it's amazing in 100 years how far technology has gone. And tell us a little about, bit about the new species that were discovered. Well, are they gnarly looking? Yeah, you know, some are. You know, a lot of people are familiar with the uh, T-Rex. Uh, Turbosaurus would have been the uh, Asian version of that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they found a tooth from one of those. It's about five and a half inches long. There's a rare um, dinosaur egg you found as well? Yeah, and so, you know, think about this. You've been sitting in the sand or clay for 65 to 80 million years. You're looking at the tooth right there. Uh, but these eggs, you know, uh, it was left intact by some miracle, and, and you see embryonic material there. And it all increases our knowledge of how d dinosaurs came to uh, inhabit the Earth. Because we don't really know what they look like either. There's this theory that perhaps dinosaurs are closer to modern day birds with dramatic, colorful feathers. How close are we to figuring out what they really look like? Well, it's funny you mention that because we always do see a Hollywood version of dinosaurs. As a kid, uh, you know, the books were different than now. Now right. we know that some dinosaurs had feathers. But if you look at a modern day rooster, that if you took away the feathers and enlarge it, that pretty much looks like a T-Rex. So there are living dinosaurs, but, uh, you know, this was uh, an exciting period because we still have people coming out of the field in Mongolia, yet with a push of the button, seven billion people across the globe are finding out information about this. When Darwin had his discovery in the Galapagos Islands, it took him 10 years to write about it, another 10 years for critical review, 100 years almost for people to accept his theory. And now uh, we not, not only have citizen science, but we have uh, the marriage of technology, multi-national uh, groups right. like the Mongolian. It's exciting stuff. Yeah. Time, time so is, technology is making everything fly back.